Dear friends, as you are aware, postal services have always been an important engine of economic activity and growth in all countries. The very creation of Universal Postal Union 140 years ago established a multilateral framework for the efficient exchange of goods and services across borders. It helped postal services pave the way to globalize trade and commerce. Today, posts continue to play a relevant role in the new frontier ushered in by the internet and calling for greater inclusion of citizens everywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, with half of the world's population living in rural areas, the postal network is well placed to reach them. In Sub-Saharan Africa, for example, 80% of post offices are located in smaller cities and rural areas where a majority of the people live. For postal services to reach these people and flourish, internet connectivity is essential, especially in developing countries where only a small percentage of the people have access to the internet. The global postal network is a tremendous asset for extending this digital reach not only for the benefits of citizens and businesses, but also for governments, development agencies, and other stakeholders looking for solutions to many of the challenges our world is grappling with. According to the World Bank, post offices are the cheapest providers of remittance services ahead of banks and money transfer operators. Posts are also the second biggest contributor to financial inclusion after banks, with one billion people holding postal accounts. Today, we see new opportunities for posts in cross-border e-commerce. Although this business is still relatively new, global online sales are estimated to reach $1.5 trillion by end year. More often than not, online purchases are delivered by the post. Postal activities stimulate the global economy and improve livelihoods. And with 640,000 post offices worldwide, we find them where they can make a difference. By increasing internet connectivity in post offices, governments can make sure this fully contribute to bring in communication, financial, social and economic services to the rural population. As the communication landscape evolves, I see an important place in for posts, especially in this new globalized world. I urge governments to carry on investing in their national postal networks so citizens and businesses can continue to benefit from a most essential and affordable public service. I wish you a happy World Post Day. Thank you.